expect to land at Jordan Flats about 8 o'clock in the morning. Martin said to tell Yank and Tommy to meet him with a station wagon. But you didn't tell them. I had to. They came in just as he was signing off. But I told them he said to meet him at 9 o'clock. That'll give us time to prepare a little welcome for Captain Marsden. Craig, you and Snell will go to Durian Flats first thing in the morning. Well, I hope we got them planted in the right places. Well, it's a cinch Marsden's plane can't miss all of them. Hurry up, he's overdue. This headwind has slowed us down a bit. He's landing at that end. set those mines knew in advance that your plane was going to land there. And who knew that besides ourselves? Only Dranga. Right. He got the message that my plane was due in at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock? But he told us 9 o'clock. An hour's difference. That hour gave Carter's men time to set the landmines. Looks as though Dranga's been selling us out. That explains why Carter's always just one jump ahead of us. He's over at the store. Let's go over there and get him right now. Wait a minute, Yank. It isn't Dranga we want. It's Carter. Carter's the man whose crime I'm accused of. And he's the one who's behind this reign of terror on the island. You mean we might make Dranga lead us to Carter? Yes, but only if he doesn't know we suspect him. If that's inside information he wants, I might give him some. Hello, Captain. I hope your trip to a mall was successful. Well, not altogether. I couldn't get all the diving equipment I needed. But I did get something very important. You know how I've been looking for a man named Carter? Yeah. Well, this holds the answer. Albright gave it to me when I was in a moor. This contains Carter's criminal record and his fingerprints. Is that all? No picture of him? Well, all I need is the fingerprints if he's on the island. <laughs> I don't understand. Well, everyone in Fulamati buys the supplies in this store. And whatever they handle leaves a fingerprint. We'll check them and get our man. A clever plan. Very clever. I'll bring your fingerprint kit over this afternoon. If you want me, I'll be in the bungalow. Right. DX to X2. DX calling X2. Come in, X2. Come in, DX. This is Greg. The boss is out at the cabin in Dark Canyon. Anything important? Plenty. Marsden's got hold of Carter's criminal record and fingerprints in a moor. He's planning to check them against everyone on the island. If he does that, we're all finished. We've got to get those records. They're right here in the safe. Get them and take them to the boss right away. Right. Hold it. 
cost I've gone over there. Oh, I get it. Hello? Oh, hello, Yank. Drank us one of the bait. He radioed Greg and was told to take the records to a cabin in Dark Canyon. The boss is out there. The boss? Well, that must be Carter. Where's Dranger now? Here on the floor, out cold. Good. Tie him up and keep him there. I'll follow through on this. Carter's out in Dark Canyon, and that's where I'm riding. You two go to the store and see if Dranger will talk now that we caught him red-handed. <laughs> Calling X2. Come in, X2. Urgent. Come in, DX. Listen, that fingerprint evidence was faked up to trap me. They were listening when I called you. And Marsden's on his way to Dark Canyon right now. We've got to warn the boss. But there's no radio at the cabin. Take the company plane and fly out there. It's our only chance. Right. What happened? Where's Dranger? He got away. He's probably gone to warn Carter. Then Jim's going to need help. Let's get started. Wait. Where will I get my gun? Take the company plane. You can make it quicker. OK. Dranger's horse, all right. Well, it's a cinch he's heading for Dark Canyon. Come on.
shot. It's Marsden. He mustn't see me here. Get back to the table. Where's Carter? I wonder if he came alone. I'm going to find out. I don't think so. Did you finish him? Not quite, but I will now. That's Barston's plane. His men are coming to help him. When it lands, we'll pick him off. Get to cover. Uh -huh. 